What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Hmm. Hmm. Luke's got a backbone. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. You take care of that weapon now. I can't get a hold of my friend. What should I do? You know why we just had to step up, don't you? Everyone's saying uh, Morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah, the place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Tank allows us to live in comfort. I hear Midgar is a mess right now. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay?
Hey there. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Shall we? Gars this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. No. 
runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. <sighs>
got that? Now, let's move! Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Just look at it all. It's so green. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, you left, you left, right. We won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was! The first step on our new journey! You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Let's get this show on the road, people!
to be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. This stuff here ain't feed for the animals. It's their bed. When it ain't been dried enough, they get all bent out of shape. Start protecting my head. It. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? I've almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. like but definitely an older model from back when they were duking it out with the republic hard to imagine this was once a battlefield and harder still to find land anywhere that hasn't been a battlefield at some point of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juno. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. 
Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Fine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Howdy! It's on the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <gasps> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he 
Where's the spitting image of Pops here? <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. All right, Pico. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. Y'all, let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Do you think maybe he's still hungry? 
sorry. That's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. is a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's had his fill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him this. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Find any. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. confirmed. Initiating a preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources.
After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. So, who here's never been on chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal.
sure this is safe. Turn body to the bog or damn near blindness. Plus, there's that giant man eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Over there. It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. Let's go.
business. Then let's end this asshole. Remember who I am? Eris. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. 